You could come on a drive with me in an exotic like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Check the description for the contest rules. Who knows you might be sitting shotgun with me in a Lambo. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this. Yeah, it's a Volkswagen key because that is the Beetle right ahead of you. Let's quickly open the hood and uh, yeah, it's a little tricky for me to open the hood because it's hot. It is damn hot. Okay, you have to pull this. That's why it's tricky. And there is the engine, 2 liter engine. You might be wondering, it should be behind. Well, this is not the original Beetle. This is the reincarnation of the Beetle, the modern Beetle. And Volkswagen logo there. Cute lights, round lights. Volkswagen has actually done a great job to make the new Beetle look like the old one in certain ways, but they could not have put a rear engine here because that would have made it a 911. Anyways, the tires are really small. It runs on 195, 65, 15 inches. I don't like the alloy wheel design either. And of course, it's like, a, you know, front rear and in between you get this rainbow sort of a shape Actually, the design makes it so attractive to a lot of people not me though i'm not a big fan of such kind of a design but still it actually looks attractive round lights and this is the fuel lid you got a rear spoiler here as well let me quickly open the boot and there i have opened the boot right away okay this is not opening what is the issue yeah now it does so the boot is really small it's not practical at all and uh, yeah there is no spare wheel here so do not even try searching for that meanwhile here a quick walk around to give you a glimpse of the design it's a two door or a three door however you want to call it so it has got four seats and uh, as you can see the door pockets are really very small and power windows are placed like the other side sideways not like you know top down anyways this is the rear seat i'm not going to sit in it because there's absolutely no space someone's chappals are here i don't know who that belongs to anyways this lever has broken otherwise you can pull this lever to pull the seat ahead and there's no sunroof on offer here disappointingly there is no keyless entry there is no push button start none of that because this is an old car this is the original reincarnated beetle of the 21st century again door pockets are small this is to open the fuel lid this is to open the boot these are power window controls these are the controls for the outside rear view mirror this is to lock or unlock the vehicle which is similar to ones in other vw cars as well and you get this beautiful red stitching here red body panel looks actually nice no adjust for the seat in electric form everything is manually done and you can see there's a dead pedal there these are the controls for the headlights and this is for the headlight leveler and straight away let me get inside and show you all right the seat is way ahead so here i pushed it all the way behind put the key inside pull the door there's not much to talk about in the interior let's turn on the vehicle there it turns on the air conditioning making a lot of noise so you can lock the glove box glove box is decent size you can turn off the airbag for the passenger side as well this is a place to hold on to the dashboard is like five kilometers long it keeps going on and on and on i think the cost of this vehicle is only purely because of the dashboard because it is so massive audio system is pathetic obviously it is this dot matrix system forget touch screen or apple carplay or android auto it doesn't even have bluetooth now obviously this is an old car round ac ones a lot of round theme hazard light switches here these are the ac controls no climate control ac this is of course for the defogger this is for electronic stability program or traction control in my speak okay there is space here below and this is the manual handbrake there's a 12 volt charging socket here there's a 12 volt charging socket there as well twin cup holders here okay let's get into parking and below here you get a six cd changer you would have expected this to yield some space but no that's a six cd changer steering has no buttons these are the controls for the wipers let me use the wipers right away wipers work well and they're making slight amount of noise i guess they are rusted these are the controls for obviously indicator now this is a holder happens to be for a flower yeah i don't know why but it has a flower holder because it's a very feminine car instrument cluster is very basic you get a big speedometer inside you get a digital display which tells you the trip kilometer as well as the gear position indicator and on the bottom left you get a fuel meter and on the bottom right you get a tachometer as well but that's about it there's not much to talk it doesn't get an auto dimming inside rear view mirror there's a outside temperature meter here along with a clock too and over here you get a light as well as a mirror same is the case here light as well as a mirror and you know what there's really good amount of headroom on offer the seats are comfortable but under thigh support isn't the best but overall i would say the seats are good enough in this vehicle dashboard is yeah super long like i told you earlier but it could have been given modern elements which by the way the updated beetle did get but how is this car to drive well let's get going right away all right we're all set to go air conditioning off getting into sport mode turning off traction control left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator revving the motor revs and off we go 
yeah it is very 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 lethargic because this is powered by a 2 liter petrol engine with just 116 horsepower which is absolutely nothing and 172 newton meters of torque naturally performance is nothing to talk home about here because 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 14 and a half seconds top speed is around 160 kilometers per hour now this is the iconic Volkswagen Beetle and while it has been discontinued now in its heydays it did perform well and guess what you know which car it spawned right so not much to complain about no paddle shifters here but you can get into drive mode you can slot this on towards your side and then you can manually take control of the gears as well so here let's see how it performs come on gearbox yeah it's a very lethargic gearbox it's a six speed unit around the corners this car is absolute rubbish okay because it has so much body roll on offer steering doesn't weigh up steering is on the comfort side so overall there's not much to talk about yeah it understeers a lot as well and as i corner through i would say that the grip levels are fine because the tires are good otherwise this is an absolute rubbish car to drive because this isn't about driving feel at all in any possible way it's more about you know making a style statement and that's where the beetle absolutely shines and it shines because because girls love it and people actually turn around and see what is he driving because obviously this is a very rare car not everybody is having a beetle in fact it's known as the people's car it is no longer the people's car because of the pricing which happens to be absolutely ridiculously on the higher side yes this car does cost a lot in fact the price of this one this is the pre facelift or rather the you know older generation model was around 30 lakhs on road making it very expensive for what it offers however what is good about this car is that overall ride quality is good it is on the comfort side it is actually quite soft and that's the reason why it is a little bit bouncy at this speed which happens to be just you know a normal regular cruising speed out on the highway so yes suspension should have been slightly stiffer it would have aided in handling as well steering is so bad in terms of response you turn it and you're like okay will i flip it, it's so soggy it's like chewing gum has been stuck over there so it you know just flips all over that place unfortunately but you know when you want to make a quick overtake you bury the throttle it doesn't move at all and volkswagen had the guts of actually downsizing this engine from 2 liter to 1.4 for the Indian market they launched the updated model with the 1.4 TSI motor that also where it gets the job done but something which is costing so much money you definitely expect much more from that at least in terms of performance because this is GTI level of money they're asking for the Beetle but not offering even Skoda Octavia level of performance unfortunately and I'm not even talking about the RS here expansion joints yes it kind of rattles the car but more or less I would say in terms of style statement there is nothing which comes close to the Beetle at all fuel economy is also very poor in spite of the lack of power around 8 to 9 kilometers per liter is what you can get at best but why use this trashy six-speed gearbox could have offered a dsg unit here with paddles at least this car does not even need traction control with 116 horsepower you definitely no need no traction control at all the wheels they don't spin at all there's no power there's no torque what are we talking about here we're just talking about something which is comfortable and looks gorgeous and this car does look gorgeous it looks gorgeous because it's very different and obviously there is the original beetle somewhere which can be seen the tachometer is so small you really can't see it but that's something which you can live with because you know what i used to play a lot of midtown madness and the beetle was there in that game as well i used to drive it and i used to wonder why does the car handle so badly is it so that you know they can have the other cars handle better there was a mustang mustang also used to handle better than this one and you know the old mustangs weren't really handling cars and now i realize the car itself is such you know because they have just kind of you know made it a style statement and forgotten about the mechanicals in fact when Volkswagen was going to design the new beetle they decided let's do one thing let's go to a warehouse where they have dumped all the bad parts or rather not the bad the inferior parts so let's pick up the old engine the two liter with the 116 horsepower they had the option of giving it more power why not give it 140 horsepower when you have the engine option why not do it if i was there in their position i would say let's make a beetle r or a beetle rs with at least 230 horsepower from the skoda octavia rs but then that would defeat the purpose because the shape is such it's not really aerodynamic and you know when you try to turn you're like oh everywhere every time you turn people move like right left and center it actually is kind of funny the way this car is not able to corner that well expectedly it looks gorgeous but through the corners it doesn't perform well at all surprising shocking and unfortunate as well for a car that looks like a million dollars yeah that's a little far-fetched now because there are a lot of cars which look great the beetle has the iconic status unfortunately Unfortunately, Volkswagen wasn't able to cash it like BMW has been able to do it with Mini and yeah, Fiat also could not manage much with the 500 but this car could have done a lot better numbers if it was spared to a diesel engine and priced right in the Indian market but hey, putting a diesel in an iconic car might have sounded wrong but considering Volkswagen's recent diesel gate scandal it was a good idea they don't not plonk a diesel engine in their iconic Beetle 
and off we go missing launch control already motor is quite refined i would give it to them for that and folks again which makes cars like the golf far and the golf gti and what not i expected a lot better yes the golf is an absolute mania the polo gti which they brought to india was also absolutely sensational when the beetle they just went too soft and the whole cute looks parameter they forgot that you know they can make something very exciting a beetle gti is what i'm looking for the brakes actually offer very good stopping power have good amount of bite as well but i want to manually take control of things now you would argue that girls are going to drive this car they really don't care a jack shit about performance all they want is to make a style statement and it actually matches their attire as well and yes i wouldn't argue with that fact because yes the beetle can make anyone look gorgeous especially the fairer sex not really a man who comes up in a suit and gets out of a beetle that wouldn't go well will it no no not really so guys this is my review of the Volkswagen Beetle the old model the original one which was launched in india i remember having driven it in 2009 a yellow one yeah the performance was great but my neighbors were red with envy they were like wow what a car but once you drive it you realize well looks are subjective there is all show here not much go so if you like this video you know what you have to do give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye